Hey everybody, I'm currently searching for equities that I think could withstand some sort of a landing of the economy, yet also could benefit from the uh, real sustained demand we're going to continue to have uh, in hard assets uh, and uh, things like energy. And so one stock I came across is uh, Alcoa Corporation, the ticker symbol is AA, and this is a company that I think a lot of people know for its uh, aluminum manufacturing. So that's sort of the hard asset part. I think there's going to be more demand for aluminum, just like I think there's going to be more demand for things like copper and gold and things like, well, actually gold, gold is a, it's a different story, sorry, but uh, things like copper uh, and other actually precious metals as well. Um, as we see inflation probably come back higher again at some point over the next number of months or so and then uh, for the foreseeable sort of five to ten year period uh, also will remain above you know that sort of two percent range so maybe three to five percent so that's that story and i think alcoa could benefit from that but also alcoa is a an electricity producer and they sell that to basically traders and corporations so on a wholesale level so if you think about electricity is something that we all know is badly needed more of even if one just takes the very simple headline example of electronic vehicles or electric vehicles um, then uh, that's something where alcoa could benefit as well that is a smaller part of the business than the aluminum if we look at the chart then of course that's where we always kind of come back to uh, for the most part, this company hadn't done anything really price action wise, or actually price action wise, done plenty, but it hasn't really made any headway since basically it's now basically where it was in 1995. So I mean that's pretty that's pretty terrible. Um, and actually, just for curiosity purposes, uh, out of curiosity, I'm wondering, yeah, it's the same price adjusted or not? Okay, perfect. So uh, it hadn't done anything, but if I look at it now. Uh, it's starting to come back to life a little bit. And what I like here is, again, is the, is the backstory of it all. It's still not in sort of a new major upside momentum move, but I think it's a stock that's a little bit below the radar. I know everyone's focusing still on the AI headlines, um, but I think this is one I want to put on the radar. Again, I'm not purchasing this just right now, but I think it is an interesting one to watch. Technically speaking, you can see we... Uh, broke out of resistance, failed, came back and bounced from it. Now we have a lot of overhead resistance to come over, uh, to overcome at this point with those moving averages. But um, uh, that thing, I think, is an interesting stock to watch here. Uh, maybe put it on your radar as well and your watch list to kind of follow. But I think ultimately this, uh, this could easily be a stock that goes back to its all-time highs uh, over the course of time. So just thought I'd put this on your radar, which again is, of course, very differently, different than, uh, you know, your, uh, our sort of AI-focused uh, uh, sort of headlines nowadays. But uh, anyway, hope it helps, and we'll see you soon.